Well, hello guys. It's uh, Monday evening. Uh, the 27th June, I think. At any rate, I need to make an apology. Uh, my computer has got wonky. I don't don't know what happened to it. Well, I got an idea. Uh, last week when the one storm came through, we had, uh, I just got home, uh, turned the computer on and checked the National Weather Service radar, and power went out. Power came back on. Power went out. Power came back on. And then it went out. Well, ever since then, it's been acting squirrely. So, last night I got on there and did a little digging. Found a few things wrong and did the auto fix thing. Uh, but this morning I got on YouTube and somehow managed to delete a video. Some, I don't even know how it did it. Uh, so I got to repost it. Uh, I didn't do anything yesterday, Sunday, because it was so dead blamed hot. You couldn't stand it outside. 90 plus degrees and 90% uh, humidity, you don't feel like doing much. But today I got up here and got the truck unloaded and got to tinkering. And looking at everything that I bought. Uh... One was a pair of grain gates. There's two of them for 40 bucks for the pair. And a uh, like brand new mechanical ram. You got the price tag on it for 30 bucks. I thought that was a bargain. Well, then I got to, got to looking at the hoist that I bought. Found out there's two of them. This is an electric half ton. I don't see it in a, a cord coming out of it and haven't really fooled with it. But Hopefully it'll work. Uh, the other one is a budget one ton hoist. And it works. The pair, this one and that one, was 15 bucks. What a bargain. I'll have to have it. <laughs> and I got them figured out. And I decided to come out here and check this out. See if it worked. I stretch me airline. I got a hose leaking or something. But she goes up. She go down. It. Even got the engine bar for it that they made. So I'm happy. The only problem is we got to figure out how we're going to get this monstrosity off the trailer. Because <laughs> the opening to the barn is 12 foot 8 right here at this door. It's 13 foot on the other side. That is 11 foot 2 from the bottom of the I-beam to the top of the I-beam. And 20, about 22 inches off the deck. So I'm roughly 
13 6 13 4 to 13 6 so she ain't going through that door or this one uh, my cousin's going to see get his book out and see how high his backhoe boom he's got an extend hoe case if it'll reach high enough to uh, get up underneath of it pick it up set it off the trailer and then we'll have to figure out how to get it in the building but I did find out the hoist like or air hoist does work which tickles me to death that lovely little jewel of a hoist works uh, that one's built by what was it uh, Manning Manning Monroe and Morris I think that's what it is yeah made in uh, where did it say Wisconsin no Michigan Made in Michigan. But 15 bucks. I ain't going to complain. Ha ha ha. But any rate guys. Uh, kind of an apology about. Uh, losing a video that was posted. Uh, that's why I haven't been able to get anything up. I was going to put one up Sunday. But it was. Computer was acting so squirrely. I thought no I better not try that. And then tried this morning and uh, it just went downhill quick so I get home I'm going to play computer mechanic I guess and see if I can get her straightened out and I got to figure out how to get this off now <laughs> but it does work that's the best part it works so as always guys if you like please comment rate and subscribe and we'll see you next time.